a huge spider on my floor. I don't know what to do. Hey guys, welcome back. So today's video is on this look right here. What was that awkward like hand up here for? Get down. I don't know what I'm doing today, but anyways, I just wanted to create a look that was just full on dramatic, something that just screamed fall. So I pretty much incorporated every like falliest fall color I could dream up. So we've got some maroons running through the lids. I have a pop of gold and just some warm toned brown. So just wanted to cr keep it pretty classic to fall colors, which by the way, I'm extremely excited about. Like, don't get me wrong. I love summer and I love the warm weather, but for God's sake, fall is amazing. And I love the smells and the colors and everything about it so I'm really excited I have a lot of fall inspired looks up my sleeve for you guys but I'm just gonna start off with this one because I just I don't know it just came to me while I was filming I had no idea what I was gonna be filming when I sat down here and this is what came out so I hope you guys like it I'm gonna go ahead and get into the video if you want to see this look then please keep watching Alrighty, let's go ahead and get started. So I'm going to use NNY's Nano Whiting Cream EX to prep my skin today. And you guys know how I roll. It's fragrance-free, chlorine-free, paraben-free, and cruelty-free. Now, it's definitely a little bit more on the pricey side, but it's been my obsession lately. It's a moisturizer, brightener, toner, lotion, and an eye cream. So I'm applying this all over my face. Now, for my eyeshadow primer today, I'm using Mad Minerals Bare Necessity, and it's basically a potted eyeshadow primer. I'm using a brush to apply it all over my lid and all the way up to my brow. And can I just say that it feels like it's been forever since I've done a voiceover? But don't worry, only half of the video is voiceover. I do do a little chatting <laughs> a little bit later on. Alrighty, the eyeshadow palette we're going to be working with today is the 120 color palette by BH Cosmetics. And first things first, before I do my eyeshadow, I'm going to do the good old tape trick. You know what's up. I'm going to tape up the corners of my eyes to make my life easier. So for my transition shade, I'm taking this light matte warm tone brown, kind of like a camel color. And I'm just going to buff this into my crease with a big fluffy blending brush. This will work as a transition shade to make our eye look very gradient and melded together. I thought I'd spice things up a little bit with this maroon shade and just add a little pop of color. So as you can see, I'm focusing this in on the outer part of my lid and I'm using patting motions rather than rubbing motions so we can get that full pigmentation. And I'm avoiding my crease as well. So once again, this is, this is just on the outer part of our lid. All right, guys, now it's time for the star of the show. I'm going to use my Stila Magnificent Metals eyeshadow in the color Kitchen. And as you can see, I'm just applying this with my finger right to the center of my lid. And I'm going to drag that into the inner part of my lid as well. I am avoiding my crease. I'm also avoiding the maroon shade that we previously added to our lid. If you find it's easier for you to work with a brush, by all means do so. But I prefer to work with my fingers sometimes. And then to help everything look gradient and melded, I'm just adding a little bit of that maroon shade right over the edge of the gold just to kind of meld things together so you can't see where it ends and begins. All right, now I'm heading back to the palette and grabbing this matte brown shade. I'm using my Sigma E36 brush to really just carve out my lid. This is the best brush to do any defining crease work. It's super thin and doesn't really cause any harsh lines. And you can just kind of see the difference between the left eye and the right eye, how the darker color really adds some contrast to make your eyes pop a little bit more. Reaching for this matte cream shade, you know how I roll. I'm just gonna apply this underneath my brow and blend out any harsh lines. This is where it all kind of comes together right about here. For liner, I'm going in with my Maybelline Master Precise Eyeliner Pen and I'm just going to cat eye this thing out and make it pretty dramatic. You can skip out on the cat eye if you want, but I just, you know, love myself a cat eye. Mascara up your lashes, make them nice and dark, and of course I'm going to add some falsies. You can skip this step if you want to, but, you know, for the sake of the video I'm adding falsies, but on a day-to-day -day basis I certainly do not wear falsies because I'm lazy. So I'm going to use the professional primer and I got this like little mini guy right here and I mean it's okay. Oh shoot. I mean it's okay but I don't know if I'm going to like buy the full size just because it's just okay. I swear, this is like the second time in a row, like the second makeup tutorial in a row that I've had glitter all over my fingers and I applied my primer and I've got glitter all over my face. So just try and look past it guys. Just 
just just bear with me here for foundation today i'm using the makeup forever ultra hd foundation and i'm just gonna pop a little on my brush and dot it all over my face um this is definitely one of my favorite foundations i find that it's got a pretty full coverage um but it doesn't look cakey on the skin it's really liquidy so it does look pretty natural on the skin So for concealer today, I actually kind of fell back in love with my Dream Lumi by Maybelline. This has a pink undertone, so it gets rid of my dark circles, which aren't cute. Um, so I'm putting that right on my dark circles just to kind of color correct. And then I'm also going to add my LA, LA, LA Girl Pro Conceal in the color Light Ivory, which is another one of my favorite affordable concealers. This is like, I think it's like five bucks. So I'll add this to highlight around my face. Get that chin, a little on the forehead. Okay. I'm going right in with my damp beauty blender to blend everything out. And of course, I'm patting it in rather than rubbing it so we can get that full pigmentation and that airbrushed finish. And now I'm going to just tab out any extra creases that I've created and powder over everything to set that bad boy in place. For blush, I'm going to use Sigma's Heavenly. And I know I use a lot of Sigma blushes, but that's because I have a huge collection of them because I just really like them and they're so cute. So that's why I use them so often in case you're wondering, but I'm just going to pop this right on the apples of my cheeks. I like this shade because it's the perfect kind of sultry blush. Like it's just the perfect cheek color. Just to kind of bronze up my face, I'm using Sigma's in the saddle, ugh, in the saddle aura powder. And I'm just going to kind of put this in the contours of my face. I'm going in with my Makeup Revolution's Golden Lights Baked Highlighter and I'm applying that to my upper cheekbone and just taking off any excess powder with my damp beauty blender. And that's me just saying like, whoa, my, my highlight looks really great right now. Can't forget the brows. I'm using my Kaylin Brow Gel. Can I think today? I don't really think that I can. Nope. Heading back in with that darker matte brown shade that we use to define our crease, I'm just going to use this pencil brush and smudge underneath my eye. And to add a little bit of highlight in my inner crease, inner crease as my inner tear duct, I'm going to pop a little bit of this shimmery white shade just to kind of lighten things up and illuminate our eyes, which will also in turn make our eyes look larger. Can't forget to add some mascara to the lower lashes. And this is what I look like when I get something in my eye. It's like really cute. So I thought that I'd add that in there for you guys. But anyways, I'm adding Tool by ColourPop on my lips because I just thought it was like the perfect fall shade. And you know how I feel about ColourPop liquid lipsticks. They are just amazing and they're really comfortable and I just love the way that they apply. So just popping that on my lips. To make things extra sassy and like saucy, I thought that I'd add some metallic eyeshadow on my lips. So. I'm just adding that right into the center of my lip and making things just shimmery and like, like I said, saucy. So that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Now, if you want to see more natural looks, let me know. I have some of those up my sleeve too. I do not normally do my makeup like this on a day-to-day -day basis. I usually do something pretty, pretty natural. So if you want to see a look like that, let me know something a little bit more realistic. But I just have so much fun creating like dramatic looks for you guys that I forget to do the natural ones. So if you want to see some natural ones, leave me a comment below and I'll do that for you guys. But um, yeah, that's really all I gotta say. So if you have not subscribed to my channel yet, then please subscribe to it and I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.